Hello, Bethany family. This is Pastor Rick Sweeney here for a daily devotion for Monday. I'm sitting out on my back porch. It is just beautiful out here. It's great to have a chance to uh, enjoy uh, God's creation. Um, I hope you had a great weekend and, and enjoyed the beautiful weather that we had. Um, since the weather turned, one thing that I've been doing that uh, I really have enjoyed is I've been taking uh, three-mile walks um, every day, and I take it down in Big Creek Parkway. Um, it's just a chance to get outside, to enjoy nature, to uh, get a little bit of cardio in. Uh, I do walking, and I also jog a little bit, so it's kind of 50-50 as I do that three miles each day, and it, it's really refreshing. And what I thought I'd do for today's devotion is, uh, in part, take you on a little bit of my trip so that you can see what that's like. So, um, in, enjoy. Creek Parkway. You can see that there's a, a lot of mud. It's a rough trail. There's dirt. There's stones. Um, it's very easy to get dirty. My shoes often get very dirty. Yet, you can still see the path clearly and, and follow it without much problem other than the fact that it's, it's a little rough and, and unsteady. As I continue along the path, you see that I come to a crossroads, right, to an intersection where I have to make a choice. Um, I could go to the right and cross the street and take another path. I could go here to the left and I'll work my way to a picnic area, or I can just continue straight, which is what I do. And um, as I, I head along the path, you see that I, I get into a darker area, a shady area. And uh, as I walk through that shady area, there's a lot of rocks here. It's the rockiest part of my walk. To the left, there um, are a lot of trees. It's a very wooded area. And a lot of times I see deer in there. And as you know, that, that can be kind of dangerous, especially during special times of the year. Uh, we've had a lot of deer uh, attacking people now due to um, babies being born just recently. So it, it's a very interesting part of my walk. Then you can see that uh, I leave that, that rough dirt path, and then I get a chance to head on to a very smooth path. It's, it's clearly marked and uh, it certainly makes for, for good walking and for good running. Um, I love this section of my uh, three-mile walk. This section that you see here is uh, the most challenging of the three miles. It's uh, uphill, and so you can see um, another thing that, that really can be difficult is when you see people zip by you um, on bikes or you see cars zip by you and you're struggling um, step by step to make it up this hill. Um, I'm just starting on the lower part of the hill but I'll be getting to the upper part here in a second and uh, boy it, it can really um, wreck your spirit when you see people zipping by you like that. This section of my walk is, is a really interesting section. It's filled with a, a couple twists and turns. Um, I walk into this very wooded area. Um, to the left of me, there is a very huge drop-off that leads down to a, a small little river. And so if I were to veer uh, to the left, um, as you can see here, it's straight drop-off and it, it's a lot of feet. So um, I have to make sure I stay very close and to the path and, and not veer off. It's also very wooded back here. There's a lot of shade, it's dark, and uh, many times this is where I see uh, a couple uh, questionable characters as I walk through there. Um, it's a nice uh, secluded place, so I could see why people would like it. But as you could see, there are a lot of twists and turns, and um, Sometimes it's, it's difficult because you can't always see where the path is leading. The reason I wanted to share with you um, my walk is that it reminded me that the Bible often talks about our uh, Christian life as a walk. 
Uh, sometimes we refer to that as our faith walk or our Christian walk, but it's um, living out our faith, living out our relationship with the Lord. And a lot of times as we are on that walk and, and we're living out our lives in faith in Christ, um, there are some, some paths that are rough. They're, they're filled with dirt, with stones. And um, there's times where we run into to muddy areas and we get dirty. Um, also, as we do that faith walk, we often come to crossroads in our lives, times where we have to make a choice as to, you know, whether we're going to the right or to the left, which way we're going to go. Um, many times in our Christian walk and as we live out our, our faith, we, there are times of darkness, times of shade, and, um, and those times can be scary. Um, also, there are dangers, as I, I mentioned, dangers with the deer and the cliffs. Uh, during my walk, there, there are dangers uh, in the Christian life um, when we veer from the path that our Lord has, has placed us on, uh, the path that's shown clearly in his word. Um, also, there are times where we have smooth paths, right? Where the sailing is smooth and we feel close to the Lord and, and, and uh, the effort is, is not as great as it is at other times when we're going uphill um, or we see people living the Christian life zipping by us, you know, living it in a, in a way that we uh, wish we could. Um, you know, we can get discouraged at times like that as well. And then in, in our Christian lives, there are twists and turns too, right? Sometimes, uh, you know, unexpected uh, things happen and, and we find ourselves going in directions that we didn't uh, think we'd be going in. And uh, as we take that walk, we can't always see um, the, where the path leads. You know, sometimes we... We just take that path, we keep following that path because that's what the Lord has asked us to do, to live out our faith. It reminds me of what Paul said in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 5. He said, for we walk by faith, not by sight. So as we go through our Christian walk, um, we're to do that with faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus. Faith that he loves us, faith that... Um, his death has uh, earned for us the forgiveness we need. Faith that he's with us always, that we're not alone as we take this walk. Um, faith that nothing can separate us from his love. Um, sure, uh, there are going to be dark times. There are going to be uphill battles. Uh, there are going to be dangers. There are going to be twists and turns. And, and we're not always going to see where that, that path is, is heading. But we know this. Uh, we see through faith the cross of our Lord and Savior Jesus. And so uh, as we walk by faith, um, we walk by faith in the Son of God who loved us and gave himself for us. We walk by faith fixing our eyes on Jesus, fixing our eyes on his cross, and knowing that uh, when he's with us, no matter what we face in our walk, um, that um, Nothing can separate us from his love. And we know where uh, the end of our walk will be. And that is with him uh, in heaven forever in the place he's preparing for us. So find comfort as you take your daily walk with the Lord, uh, knowing that he's with you and walk by faith in his promises and in his presence. Take care, Bethany. Have a wonderful week. God's blessings.